Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So this is the second Manifest Battle of the Night, and we're going to be taking on uh, Elga OG. Now that the fact that I don't have her as an OG 5 star or even a 4.5, I will have to spend 5 chance in order to do so. So um, hopefully for your guys' benefit, I will spend the 5 chance and side grade her to OG. Nice! Stop flexing, Dad! Okay, now that we've done that, it's time to take on her manifest. So the only thing at this point is to make sure we switch her to the OG form. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Also I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So again, um, apparently uh, Elga and Renry are immensely damaging, especially for non-elemental, and since they are both uh, slash type attacks, they will really benefit from slash zone. So hopefully after this, and if, if I get the uh, second upgraded level 10 weapon, I can demonstrate them in the 5 star review and see how they work in slash zone. That being said, let's see how this first battle goes. Alright. So being that she is earth based, uh, AS Elga of course is primarily earth based attack, I know that Elga OG has mainly non-elemental attacks, so we're going to use Wind since Wind has an advantage over Earth. Being that she is a primarily physical attacker, mostly non-elemental with a couple of Earth ones mixed in, we're going to bring in a whole Wind team. We'll use Forefather to apply um, you know, some debuffs, and we'll also use Matsukunda as well. That way we can reduce any amount of damage from physical attacks by powering her down. Okay, looks like she does have a self buff, and most of these manifest battles seem to do that where they kind of buff themselves, which is actually very beneficial being that they will obviously buff your character once you do get that manifest buff. Okay, so so far so good. No major problems here. We're just doing the damage here. Okay, well, she now applies guaranteed pain status, so we know that that's going to be a benefit for our manifest weapon once we get her. It seems to be a little bit more challenging uh, than I was expecting. That being said, should still be no problem, hopefully. Wow, the Quattro Drive is a four times uh, single target XL slash attack, I guess. So uh, that can really wreck havoc. And again, being that this is only the level one battle and Claude is almost dead already, I'm not really thinking how it's going to be uh, at the level 10. And Claude just took one for the team. So I do apologize that Claude uh, died there. Um, I should have been more prepared. Usually for these level 1 manifest fights, I really kind of just kind of um, honestly fool around a little bit, try a few different things, just kind of at least see what kind of moves we're up against. And in this case, I'm not going to take her level 10 fight very lightly. I will be very serious and obviously have multiple shields, mostly power down and physical resistance up. I'm probably going to actually uh, bring either OG, Mer uh, sorry, Annabelle or mana, obviously, to have physical shields and or power down. Okay, anyways, we did uh, succeed in that battle, and we have obtained her manifest weapon, Tail Links. Nice! Seriously, Dad, stop flexing! Sometimes you just have to flex. I'm actually really excited to get these two new manifest weapons onto my team. Um, you know, like I said, Having any new content is actually better than nothing, and we really had some uh, dry weeks here where we really haven't had much to do. That being said, time to grind, just like I said with the Renry battle. Um, good that we have two manifest weapons to grind together, so at least I can do two for the price of one. So five, uh, another 50 Chronostones, gold badge, I will always welcome that. And of course, once we finish the level 10 fight, that's 100 extra stones for each of those. So a total of 300 stones just for this update, not including, of course, the fact that there are 10 uh, Whispers of uh, Time or Sprinkles of Salt. So I'm really looking forward to those single summons as well. Okay, so as usual, I will show the loadout on my team. Um, like I said, I do apologize again. Again, once more for uh, losing one of my characters. I really shouldn't have done that, but you know, Sometimes it's good to show both the wins and the losses um, in these battles. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.